Hi, I'm Michelle and this is my Romantic Tangle and let's talk about fabric choices for our quilts. Recently I was asked if I use 100% cotton in my quilts. Mostly yes. And that is because the fabric that I find at estate sales and in thrift store bags mostly came from other quilters who were using cotton in their quilts. If I am cutting up a bunch of random little scraps of fabric into two inch squares to make a postage stamp quilt and I find a print that I like the color and I like the print and I can tell by touching it that it is polyester not cotton, I'll put it in with the rest of them and use it in that quilt. It doesn't hurt anything and I do quilt my quilts more densely because what I'm making are utility quilts intended to be used by my family. If I was using larger pieces and tying the quilt and not intending it to be laundered, I might take a different tactic, but that's how I do it. If I can't tell just by picking up the fabric on first glance whether it is 100% cotton or a polyester blend, I don't worry about it. You don't have to make your quilts out of 100% cotton. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This quilt is one of my favorites. It is 100% quilting cotton made by Moda. It is the quilt shop stuff. I made this for the Moda Bake Shop and they provided me with fabric in exchange for the pattern. My budget would not have stretched to making this quilt the way I made it. If you're interested, the pattern's Moab or Sedona and I'll put a link in the description below. For something as fiddly as this is, these are one and a quarter inch strips because I cut a jelly roll in half lengthwise. It's going to be harder if you're using a polyester fabric and doing curves or points or something other than squares. If you're an experienced quilter, you can do that. If you're brand new or learning a brand new technique, just be aware that that's going to add to your challenges. I have another quilt I want to show you. It's an heirloom. My grandma didn't make a lot of quilts. She made this one. It is double knit polyester. And before you start thinking too much about how ugly this quilt is, all of these fabrics were left over from pantsuits she made for herself and my great grandmother. So as ugly as this quilt is, I can only imagine those pantsuits. And if I can find pictures in a family album, I'll show them to you. This is double knit polyester. It's squares and rectangles and honestly I I don't know what she was doing. There's there's not a pattern here. There's some interesting fabric placement. This thing has probably been in use for 50 years. There's one seam in the cotton on the back that has failed that I need to restitch the front of this quilt. Shows no wear and tear. This double knit polyester is bulletproof. It is awesome. It is warm. It is heavy. It is ugly. And I'll admit it, I would not love this quilt as much as I do, except for the warm part, except my grandma made it. I have a couple of other double knit polyester quilts in my collection. I bought a, what is it? I think it's a log cabin at a estate sale for dirt cheap because it was just the top and making this video I need to finish that quilt because I want it now for drafty farmhouse stitching nights. I pulled out a picture and I think we can all agree that this is prettier than grandma's quilt. I really do need to figure out how to finish this. If you make a quilt not using cotton and I should clarify if you are making an art quilt to hang on a wall and don't plan on laundering it you can use anything. I swear I've seen a quilt made out of red bull gowns. If you are making a quilt that is going to be used and laundered, consider the fabric you are using and whether it is sturdy enough to hand up, hold up to use in laundering and try to keep the fabrics within that quilt the same weight. I had a family member who made quilts and she would use very thin, almost gauzy fabric and put it right next to heavy, there might have been some double knit polyester and those quilts 
were laundered by people who didn't know better and they just shredded. It, it was really sad and I hate to admit it, but I'm one of the people who did not know better. If you keep the weights of your fabric, the thickness of your fabric similar, it should be okay. And it, under some circumstances, if you're making a memorial quilt with a family member's clo clothing or doing something like that, you may want to incorporate different fabrics. If you do, just make sure that whoever winds up with the quilt knows that it's going to be delicate and has to be handled with care. I have seen quilts made out of unfelted wool. I picked a little one up at the Goodwill bins years ago. It is adorable. It's a doll quilt. I don't know how I would ever wash it. I think that I could very cautiously hand wash it, but it's not a quilt I would have made myself. So that's the short answer. Your quilt does not have to be made out of 100% cotton. You have a lot of leeway if you're working with cotton polyester blends. If you're working with fabric that is all polyester or all something else, as long as you are aware of and consider the laundering instructions and keep your fabric similar to the fabrics in the quilt with it, it'll be fine. Let me know, do you, if you quilt, do you use cotton? Or do you use whatever comes to hand? If you think a piece might not be cotton, do you do the burn test? I had a three yard piece of fabric that I was sure was a polyester blend. It just did not feel right. Come to find out that that thrifted piece of fabric was actually quilt shop cotton. It was just a thinner weight and different texture than I was used to. So we all learn new things all the time. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.